Hi everyone, in this video um, I will show you how to fix this error with Boink that you will get in the Pine64. The error is that no project, Enigma at home, um, Goofy Grid at home, and WUProp at home, which are projects I run, I run in, in, in this Pine64, um, it doesn't get any task. As you can see, um, here, are the, here are the projects that I'm running but I don't have any task here. Um, what's the issue? The issue is that the project um, told me this message. Message from server. This project doesn't support computers of type AR64 unknown Linux GNU. Um, you will get this, this message because the, the Pine64 is a 64-bit um, ARM architecture. That means that the processor, this is the processor, is an A64 from Owinner. Um, it's 64 bit and current projects are only have application for 32 bit um, 32 bit um, architecture ARM. However, uh, we can get task in the Pine64 by editing the CC config file. So, on um, the CC config file of Boeing, of course. So, to do it, I will go over here to the menu and I'm going to launch the terminal emulator. And the reason I am launching the terminal emulator is to run the the tuner file manager as root. So I type sudo tuner like that. And now I press enter. Um, I type the password, which is Ubuntu. The default password for the user Ubuntu is Ubuntu. And here we have we have tuner launch. Now we are going to slash bar slash lib slash boink client there we go slash bar slash lib slash boink client and now I am going to open the cc config file so I double click it and now here I have my cc config file um, as you can see I already edited the file so I can manage it remotely from any computer but now I have to add a new line so under the options section um, it is called alt underscore platform and now the platform I am going to type here is arm slash unknown slash linux slash GNU E A B I H M. And now I close I close the task. So alt underscore platform. And there we go. So now I'm going to save this file. Control S or we can go in the file and save any way you like. And now I am going to point manager. I'm going to um let's see options and under options I'm going to press um read config file and there we go it read, it read, read the cc config file so now what I am going to do is I'm going to projects and I am going to force it the three projects to get new task now I'm going to the task section um, but it still it still says that um, it is looking for the AR64 um, unknown Linux GNU and I am not getting the, the, the task so what I will go like I will do um, let's go over here again I am going to press read local prep file so nothing it is not doing nothing over here um, back in the CC config file um, it should work because the out platform is a known parameter it is placed correctly over here so the only thing left here is to restart the boink manager but it is better to restart 
the Pine 64. So I go over here, here, and now I press restart. Um, are you sure you want to restart this computer? Restart. And now it will restart. Now we wait a few moments for it to restart. There we go, it is loading right now. And now I log in. Again, the default password is Ubuntu, so I'm logging in. Now this build has a uh, bug here. Um, it asks, um, it does that, and then it asks for the password again. So I write again Ubuntu, and there it is loading. And uh, let's wait for it to. Uh, this always from sub. Um, you can either click from report problem or, or close, um, whatever you like. Um, if I click report problem, I have to write again the password or uh, Ubuntu, and there we go. And now again. Now that it loads the desktop, I am going over here. I am going to system, and now I'm going to launch. I'm going to launch the Boink Manager again. And this again it shows up. I, I'm well, I'm ignoring it right now. So here I am in Boink Manager. Now, since I have on the reboot, the the reboot. I mean the. The remote host um, it does not connect for by default, so I have to go here to file um, select computer, and I have to write here the local address one one two seven. Then there we go, and the password. Of course, I have to type it over here, and there we go. Um, so it get the task, but it gets computational error. So to fix this error about the computational errors in our Pine64, we have to add the ARM HF um, architecture to our, to our um, Linux installation. This is because the OS is 64 bits and these apps are compiled for 32 bits. So we go over here to the top there and we are going to terminal emulator. Now here I am going to write um, sudo su to be in root the password is ubuntu and now I'm going to add the, the 32 bit architecture so that is the pkg add architecture arm hf and now I press enter there we go so now the other thing I'm going to do is to install the ARM HF um, architecture. So, apt get update. I'm going to perform an update here. Let's wait. And it finished. So now I'm going to write apt get, get install bin utils arm asia. And there we go. So now I press um, yes, um, y in the keyboard. 
and now I press enter now it will begin downloading It's installing right now. And it finished. So now I'm back to Boink over here. And I am going to perform in the in the projects. So I was in task here and now I go to projects and I will perform an update for each project. Communicating with Boink and update and update. And there we go, it is downloading the, the tasks and it is running over here. And now you can see it is not erroring out and it is now running correctly. Goofy X read at home already downloaded the task and now it is running too. And we have to wait for WU prop, the task for WU prop. There is some loading over here. Let's wait for it to download and yeah, WUPROP is erroring out here. But the good news is that the other projects, Enigma at home, is running without issues here, as you can see. And GoFix Read at home is also running, so these um, apps are, up, are running here. Um, unfortunately, WUPROP is not running, that is a shame. However, um, I am going to write in the forum about this issue, so maybe it can be fixed, and maybe it will run. Oh, and yes, the, this thing in Goofy Street at home is pretty normal. Um, it reaches 100% uh, and it's uh, pretty fast, but in fact, this work unit finishes in about an hour, so that is completely normal. However, WPROP is the only way that is having problems. Now over here I'm going to sort it by status, so I can see it, and there we have the Enigma at home task running, the estimated time, and go fix read at home running, and WU broke error, compilation error. So now I can close the terminal window over here, I'm going to close it, and that's how you run the these projects in your Pine64. So if you got one Pine64, if you got one Pine64, be sure to to put it at work, um, crunch some tasks. Um, for example, if you use it as a server, um, the CPU will have plenty of unused cycles, so you can put that unused cycle to you to good use. Um, install Boink in it and add the projects and start crunching, and that's all. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you like it, if you like it, it please um, like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel, and watch my other video about the size comparison between the Pine64 and the Raspberry Pis. Thank you for watching.